I'm Les Davis and welcome to the Mendip Hills. This is another in the series of short films made by the Mendip Society about Mendip and today is the Burrington Coombe story. Compared to Cheddar Gorge which is a mere 10,000 years old the nearby but less well-known Burrington Coombe is positively ancient probably around about 200 million years old. Information boards like this, in fact interpretation boards like this, all over the Mendip Hills will help explain the history, the mystery, the myth and the magic of what you're looking at. Such as this place here, Barrington Coombe, we tell you that it was formed probably about 200 million years ago. Well, let's go and take a look at Barrington Coombe. Barrington Coombe is a wadi, a dried up riverbed from the Triassic period. Uh, nowadays, as you can see, it's, it's wooded on both sides. In fact, Coombe is a Saxon word for a wooded valley. Uh, the road drops downhill with a, a couple of sharp bends, again on the route of the old riverbed. There's some interesting features as we go down this road. Right hand side you'll see uh, is fairly open when we get down near the bottom and one of the first caves on the right hand side here, Fox's Hole as we go around the left hand corner, uh, is also known as Plumley's Den after John Plumley who hid after the Monmouth Rebellion. Coming up on the left hand side is the first of two twin brooks which run down off of Blackdown, East and West Twin Brook. The road starts to descend rather sharply but don't be surprised to see animals on the road. Horses, uh, cattle and even and goats because this road runs right through the middle of Barrington Commons and these animals have right of way over everybody and everything. Coming down near to the bottom now we're approaching Avalines Hole. Uh, one of the oldest formal cemeteries in Britain and as you can see it's uh, still quite an impressive place. Coming up to the end of our journey now, very narrow piece of road here so you do need to be watching what you're doing coming into the, the sunlight and on the left hand side the Rock of Ages. Car park on the right hand side, very very popular with, uh, with climbers this particular piece and look at this, we're running over a cattle grid. I cannot talk about Burrington Coombe without Talking about this, the Rock of Ages. O oh, Rock of Ages, cleft from me, let me hide myself in thee. So wrote the Reverend Augustus Montague Top Lady when he was the curate in Blagdon. The story goes that our Gus sheltered in here in a violent storm one day, and so impressed was he with the shelter that the rock gave him, he wrote the hymn. You'll drive past this every time you go up or down Burrington Coombe and you probably won't even notice it. But this is one of the oldest cemeteries in Britain. Named after William Talbot Aveline, who was an eminent archaeologist living in Rington, um, this place here was discovered at the end of the 1700s by two men out rabbiting one day. They lost the dog, dug down to find the dog and found a cave full of skeletons. Well, that's the end of the Barrington Coombe story. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you again. If you'd like to find out more, go to www.themendipsociety.org.uk or search for us on Facebook.